Hi guys, and welcome back to another Wellness Wednesday video. Today, we are going down a rabbit hole of headaches and cold water again. Last time we talked about how cold water can help migraines. This time we're looking at it from the reverse perspective. Can cold water cause headaches? Let's find out. As always guys, huge shout out to my research team for getting this together for us. And let's go ahead and dive into it. So the short answer is yes, cold water can absolutely trigger headaches. And there's a couple different types it can cause. So the bath-related headache or thunderclap headache is the most common. Bath-related headaches or thunderclap headaches can be severe, exploding, or pulsating. They can last from five minutes to four days and may be accompanied by nausea, vomiting, or sensitivity to light or sound. Uh, secondarily is migraines. So people who suffer from migraines have sometimes found that the cold water makes them worse. Typically, these are the people who the warm water helps more than the cold water. The first study we looked at came from the Cleveland Clinic, uh, talking about diving into a cold swimming pool and receiving a thunderclap headache. Now, this was an older woman. Uh, dived into a cold pool after swimming three laps said she experienced the worst headache of her life which came on like a rocket she felt some confusion but did not lose consciousness she went ahead and decided to go to sleep awakened a few hours later with a continued headache and confusion in addition to nausea and vomiting after contacting her gp her husband transported her to an emergency room a ct scan revealed a small hemorrhage and the woman is admitted to the intensive care unit the headache subsided but returned 12 hours later they performed a few more tests and again the headache subsided but three days later while she was still in the hospital the headache flared again after a cold bath another scan showed additional bleeding at this point she would air evac to a different hospital so this particular case study it did cause more than just a thunderclap headache it was also a hemorrhage now, there is no proof from what I could find in the study about whether or not the cold water could have triggered it, triggered the hemorrhage. However, they could not deny that there have been other cases of cold water immersion and headaches happening. Now, typically, it's not when you're doing deliberate cold exposure. It is when you're doing cold exposure in the wild or not planned or it's just colder than expected. So it's more of a shock response. Uh, but that's not to say that it can't happen. So bath related headache is a rare primary headache disorder with only about 50 cases reported from 2000 to 2017 and none since. It's an abrupt onset of excruciating headache occurring predominantly in middle-aged women, both commonly following exposure to hot water. This came from NCBI, which is the National Library of Medicine. Now, what they were finding is that bath-related headache tends to happen with hot water versus cold water. However, there have been some studies that have come out to say that it could be triggered with either one. Bath-related headache is a rare disorder, but has a distinct trigger, which is the external contact of hot water, most commonly to the head. Occasionally, it may be triggered by cold water and contact of water to other body areas. The triggers include taking a shower, soaking in a hot bath, diving into a swimming pool, exposure to steam, brushing of teeth, and rinsing of the mouth. In the cases reported to date, direct skin stimulation by water and temperature changes rather than hot water baths per se appears to be a necessary component of the trigger. Thus, thermic water contact headache may be a more accurate description than BRH. This to go on to say that with the thunderclap headache, a sub hemorrhage could occur, which is what was seen in the cold water study from Cleveland. About a third of patients with BRH have also been diagnosed with other headache disorders, such as migraine and tension type headaches. Uh, why women are mostly affected by this and not men seems to be uncertain. Uh, what we are finding is it's very uncommon in men and it's very uncommon in younger people is more common in elderly and more common with hot exposure. That does not mean it's outside of the realms of reality. Many people who experience migraines also have reported that cold exposure and cold baths and showers can worsen their symptoms or cause them due to the constriction of blood vessels when exposed to cold to some people, this could lead to spasms and headaches. Now, headaches caused by cold water can also be an environmental thing. So it could depend on what you've eaten, what you've drank, what the weather is, things like that. And that's why it's super, super important that you track your cold therapy, which brings us, of course, to Ice Wellness and the Ice Wellness Journal. We created the journal so that you could track your progress, really see how different times, temperatures, durations, et cetera, even the weather outside can affect your overall cold therapy and help you get the most out of it. We will, of course, link to it down below. The journal is available in digital format or in physical form from Amazon. And then we also do a subscription as well. Our subscription sends you a new mantra and post-workout plunge along with newsletters, tips, tricks, et cetera, and info shares from experts in the field. And again, guys, all that is linked in the description. If you do enjoy these videos, please hit that like and subscribe. Share this with somebody who might find it interesting. And thank you for supporting the channel.